Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, Jeremy here for with my review of Grave Importance Supernatural episode 19 of season 7. Apologies first off for the delay. Uh, just been in a weird little spot the last little while. Uh, and also, just with this reviews, these reviews of season 7, it's been really reminding me of the negativity that I put myself into when I was reviewing Andrew Dabb's seasons of Supernatural. And I'm trying to get back to that kind of meta-ness, that, that, that very calmness I had when I was reviewing 15, when I should have been like tearing that season apart. But it, this season has reminded me a lot of what I didn't like about this show, and that's been rough to deal with. So, I, I, again, apologies. I will be doing a video talking about this with my subscribers and to my patrons in a few days. So keep an eye out for that. Anyways, this episode's actually really good. That's probably one thing that surprised me so much was I've watched the next two episodes, and they're actually pretty decent, and it's just jarring. This episode really does finally confirm that Bobby is, in fact, a ghost. It's a little bit sad that Sam, despite doing all the things that he said he did when Dean wasn't around, he didn't think that the flask was anything, despite the fact that there was a lot of obviousness to a ghost being around. Like, especially since Sam, if I am correct, like, I don't remember the shot exactly, but he saw the sword move in the previous episode, so he's gotta be like, that's whack. That's cer certainly not normal. They go to a house that a, another hunter that they know went to, Gave them a call, said, hey, wanna meet up? I've got some of Bobby's books. They go to the house. Turns out that the hunter was killed. And she's in fact trapped as a specter inside this house with other ghosts because there's a mystery around this lord who owned the house having these different uh, people in, including a dunce who was allegedly uh, charged with murder of a bunch of different people. But he died in this house as, long, as well as the lord. Bunch of shit. Obviously, there's something suspicious with this place that is keeping people in this house because new some teenagers just recently died in there as well. She's able to speak with Bobby, and they're able to kind of investigate it from the spectral side. And this was something that I liked about this episode is that we've seen ghosts in Supernatural plenty of times at this point. We've even seen episodes about ghosts staying in this realm, and that was something that happened when Bobby died and even when Dean was a specter in the hospital back in season two. But what was great about this one is that you were able to kind of get a little bit of ghost vibes, obviously some Patrick Swayze vibes, but also kind of how the brothers were dealing with Bobby in fact still being alive. Like they even say, we burned you and you shouldn't be here. It's not the natural order of things. There is a kind of a twist and tell with the story of the Lord and that's actually fairly well done. There's some funny bits in it. There's some scary bits in it. There is some questionable bits. Like, in fact, when Bobby has the power fight with the Lord at the end and the Lord's bones are burned, uh, he sucks in the Lord's energy and then he falls on the ground and he makes a hitting noise, like a noise, like I normally would, like anyone falling over. Would a ghost make a sound if he fell on the floor? <laughs> so I thought that was kind of funny. I also thought it was strange that ghosts couldn't get through this door. Like, you would have thought that, hey, we can just walk through objects unless they're still figuring that out of themselves. Maybe there might have been a little bit of protection from the Lord keeping that door uh, hidden from even ghosts because, like they said, no one in the place knew. I felt bad for the lady who, I used to be a fancy lady. That joke, like the hooker joke, just was so dry on both occasions that it was brought up. I, I, I don't know, I think they really thought that joke was a, was a winger. Uh, and then when the episode does come to its end after they've killed the Lord and Bobby is now able to be seen by the boys and they have a conversation with him, I did like how it ended with Bobby sitting in the back of the car and the boys are like, can we make this work? And they're like, I don't know, this has never been done before, but how, how else is this going to end? Like, he shouldn't be here anymore. How else is this going to end? And Bo it slowly moves back to Bobby in the back seat and the caught the shot if i can't show it here it goes from him being in light to slowly forming into shadow and you just see his silhouette and i like that i thought that was some decent visual storytelling something that this show hasn't done in god knows how long so whenever it does appear it's always like oh wow maybe it's a little on the nose sure but i thought it was a cool addition in the end in grave uh, of grave importance is a fantastic we great upturn it's funny that the last few episodes have been crappers except for party on garth i actually thought party on garth was fun and this one is too there's a lot less issues with it there's a lot more consistency and a lot more of a 
character building with what's going on with Bobby as well as the hunter and her kind of conversation with Bobby about there's no point in staying here why like you sure you say you have work to do but that's that's you trying to convince yourself to stay here in a sense so in the end I'm gonna give of grave importance a five out of seven I was really blown away by this episode guys like sure it's not like be all end all but I was just happy that it was good Maybe this might be a little bit of a generous rating, but who knows? Anyways, let's see what you guys have to say. I always get a chuckle that Sam, when he was soulless, Dean and Bobby all slept with Anne. It's kind of a shame they kill her off so quickly, and in a lot of ways she reminded me of Ellen. Actually, I kind of feel the same, like, she was actually a pretty good one-off character. This episode is fun because it adds two new rules of the ghost lore and the supernatural that works pretty well. I think it definitely is interesting to have ghosts who refuse to be reaped that aren't vengeful ending up rotting and losing themselves as time goes by. It also sometime, It's also something to talk about that the ghost can siphon other ghosts' essence as a source of power and longevity as a ghost, even though we don't really know how Whitman Van Ness learn how to do it in the first place it's also nice to know that actually i kind of is that power ever come back because i thought bobby was going to use it later on in the season but he never did um it's also nice to know the real the reason sam couldn't reach out to bobby as a ghost while dean was away because it was dean had the flask that bobby was tied to overall the episode serves what it was trying to convey in terms of story and i had little to no complaints about it in future episodes we're going to see it really line up with the whole leviathan arc yeah we are in in, in some cases <laughs> yes we are of grave importance i really enjoyed this episode i like the character annie sucks that she gets killed because she toys she kind of reminds me of ellen to me i really enjoyed bobby and the scenes between him and annie are were surprised uh, I was surprised to learn that Bobby, Sam, and Dean all slept with Annie. I really like the scene where Sam, Dean, and uh, see Bobby, even though Sam and Dean are right there. That Bobby belong and are right that Bobby long, belongs in heaven. Idols understand why Bobby made the choice to stay with them. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I, I didn't really get what the last sentence was here, Angela. Sorry about that. All right, guys, that's it for that one. Thank you for your comments. Now we've got the girl with the Dungeons and Dragon tattoo. This is the introduction of Felicia Day. And Charlie was a really great character up until her unfortunate end in this show. So give me guys' comments about that uh, in the comments section down below, and I'll read those off in the next review. Guaranteed, guys, the next reviews will come out as they should. I am going to literally sit here for the next few hours and watch all the episodes that remain and review them. So uh, I'm going to get this done. We, I have to finish season seven because I, I, I just need to get this over with. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Sorry again for the delay. Again, I'll do a video more personal soon in a few days talking about what's going on. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.